Okay, in this lecture, we're going to look at an alternative class F topology from the Grabenikov text, RF and microwave power amplifier design. So recall from the last lecture that we only need to terminate a couple of harmonics in order to result in peak efficiencies that can be as high or nearly as high as class B power amplifiers. If we only need to terminate one, two, or three harmonics, we can do this with three elements by setting a few impedance conditions. In this case, we're going to set the condition that the network has to present an infinite impedance for the fundamental and the third harmonic, and a very low impedance or a short circuit for the second harmonic. In the text, there are two circuits that are proposed. One is called a parallel circuit, where we have a parallel resonant tank consisting of L2 and C2, and the other one is a series circuit where we have a series resonant tank consisting of L2 and C2. If we solve for the uh, aforementioned uh, conditions such that the impedance looking into the network prevents, it presents an open circuit at the fundamental and the third harmonic and a short circuit at the second harmonic, we could come up with the following component values. Now, if we evaluate which one of these is better, we typically have to uh, choose a condition based upon the, the type of circuit that we're designing in. For an integrated circuit, we might say that the series circuit is a little bit better because the inductors have smaller component values and this would result in less silicon area used. An added benefit of using smaller inductors is that they often also have lower loss. Bringing up loss, we can also calculate the loss due to switching resistance in the class F power amplifier. A simple model for our switch includes some series resistance uh, in series with an ideal switch, along with some shunt capacitance to represent the capacitance from the switch. We can show that the power dissipated in the switch is equal to the output power times two times the switching resistance divided by the optimum termination resistance of the PA. Now we've already established for a class F power amplifier that R opt is equal to eight over pi squared times VDD squared divided by P out. And if we want to achieve the same output power in the face of loss in the switch, we need to account for the loss in the switch by subtracting two times the switch resistance. We can then go on to find the efficiency of the switch as being equal to one minus two times R switch divided by R opt. The total efficiency is given as the product of all of the efficiencies of a power amplifier. So in the case of the class F, it would be the efficiency of the switch times the efficiency of the uh, non-ideal class F that is due to non-ideal harmonic termination times the efficiency of the matching network. Now there's one other thing to note about the class F amplifier, and that is that when we have a drain parasitic uh, capacitance, uh, what is the impact of the capacitance? And in the case of the parasitic capacitance, it typically sets the upper bound on the frequency of operation. So for the class F amplifier, F max, the maximum operating frequency, is approximately 0.47 divided by R opt times the drain capacitance. So we'll stop there for this lecture, and in the next lecture, we'll look at the inverse class F topology. Nominally, what happens there is we're going to try and square the current waveform and half rectify the voltage waveform. Now, we should also note that there is an inverse class E topology that we ignored uh, in lecture 14 series. And the reason that we did that is that it's not very practical with real transistors due to the drain parasitic.